y'all. I'm Laura Richardson with Relevate and we're Real Estate Elevated. Today's episode is actually things that your real estate agent can help you with that have nothing to do with buyer and selling a home. So we often think about contract to close, right? So they help you in prepping your home to be listed or finding that home so that you can buy. But what happens afterwards? Well, there's actually quite a few things that your realtor can help you with. One of the big things that we've dealt with in our market recently is tax assessments. So we just went through this in January of 2024, where everybody got their new assessment for the year. Well, there's an appeals process for a reason. So I actually had a lot of former clients and current clients calling me to say my tax assessment is wrong. So in some cases, they were much higher than the client thought that their house should be. I mean, obviously we did have some huge jumps because we've dealt with some big markets with lots of natural appreciation. But what we found is a couple of mistakes had actually happened. So first of all, tax assessors are human, right? They're looking at the data that they have access to. And sometimes there can be mistakes that are made by a totally different person. Person, but it actually relays into the information they use in order to do their job. So one client that called, she actually on her home, it listed that she had an extra bedroom, an extra full bathroom, and 300 plus square feet that didn't exist. What probably happened with her new construction home is when she hit submit on all of her paperwork and stuff got uploaded into the deed, the builder had a different file as far as a blueprint or a layout that was submitted. So it was a different house. So she was actually paying a lot more in property taxes than she should because her house wasn't that big. So obviously that appeal process happened and went through. We've also seen some uh, mixed neighborhoods where you might've had some established existing homes that were built, let's say in 2006 to 2010, and multiple phases have continued happening in this neighborhood over the course of time. Unfortunately, what happens is that sometimes the new construction, so you're talking about 2023, 2024 builds are then getting compared just because of size to those existing homes. They are not the same. Those are not comps. So it's really important that you look at the data to see where could the tax assessor actually be pulling the info from and can you fight the tax assessment. Obviously, your real estate agent can pull those comps for you and help you along with that process. The second one is understanding what type of equity you have in your house. Obviously, if you've lived in your home for the last five years even, you have probably built up substantial equity. So you have to remember your equity comes from the money you've paid into the house, plus the natural appreciation on top of that. So if you're thinking of doing a HELOC maybe, but don't really wanna start that whole banking process yet, Ask your real estate agent for a qualitative market analysis. Ask them to give you a quick run on what you potentially could sell it for because that could actually give you the amount of equity that you have in that home. Now, keep in mind your lender, your banking institution is who really determines that, but it's gonna give you a ballpark idea. The third thing, um, and this one's pretty big for those of you thinking about doing any type of fixing up. So. Realtors are your community connector. They know everybody. So when it comes to vendors and having access to an HVAC guy, a plumber, a painter, a fence installer, anything like that, they know somebody that they know, like, and trust. That is so important. So ask them for a referral. Ask them to connect you with those individuals. And then as you're thinking about taking on some of these projects, another thing, so a fourth thing that your real estate agent should be able to walk you through is let's say you're thinking about doing an improvement. Is it going to add value to your house for resale purposes? Or is it actually gonna make you stand out in a negative way? For example, I've had folks call and say, hey, I'm thinking about adding a third car garage because we have a large enough space and acreage that we could do it. Well, if none of the other homes in your neighborhood have that third car garage, are you actually gonna get ROI, return on investment? Same thing with changing out countertops or blowing out a wall or making two rooms one room. All these things can actually affect you much further down the road. So it's kind of good to get a feel for the market and to see if those are gonna be actually good options for you and your family, or if they might be things you wanna plan to do in your next house. So. Keep all of this in mind, guys, as you are continuing to talk to your real estate agents, because again, there are gonna be situations that pop up. A big one is dealing with HOAs and neighbors. So not to end on the negative here, but your real estate agent can also walk you through particular little sticky situations where maybe rules come into play. So if you ever run into a scenario where maybe the HOA says, hey, you can't do this, talk to your agent. There might be some back history there, some documents they can pull when it comes to covenants, um, indeed history searches 
coaches where they can actually support you in that process to help you have all the facts on the table, right? So again, I'm Laura Richardson with Relevate. We are here to give you information so you can stay in the know on the market and the trends that exist here. We'll see you next time.